Welcome to this Trimble Business Center video tutorial. In this video, we want to give a short introduction into DC files. DC files are data controller files and they can be used in general for um, exchange between the Trimble field and the office software. DC files are ASCII files, so you can open them in an editor and they are very uh, common used between CC and uh, construction. For us in the, this video, we are mainly focusing on using DC files to set up our coordinate systems in Trimble Business Center. So let's take here an example of this ASCII file. We have here an ASCII file. This is how a DC file can look like. And the first important thing is that each line uh, is defining what the line is, um, um, is changing. And the first two digits, they are for us important. So we will take here an example. So for example, we have here a line called 81 TM1 and the error values. And the first two digits, they mention here that this is changing our vertical adjustment. So this is here impacting here our vertical adjust. Or for example, we have also an entry called C8 TM4 UTM. And the C4 is now defining our coordinate system. And depending how the first two digits start, then the following other entries can have a different position. And for example, for the C8, the next two digits, so starting from position three, and then uh, with a length of two, and in our case, this is called TM, and this is then the derivation, and TM stands for Trimble. But this can also be a different entry. So I will show also a different DC file. And when we take a look here at a different one, then the next two digits are called ki and this is then key input. So this can also then be that you define yourself here, your values. So let's go to our example. So the next one is here at position five. So in this case here, position five is then defining the coordinate system option. And then depending on the value here, in our case here, the four, then we will choose here from a library our coordinate system. And in our case, this is then a UTM 33 North based on ITRF. So in our case, we are using the UTM 33 North ITRF. And additionally, we also do a vertical adjustment, but in our case, only based on our entry, which is a one. So only an inclined plane. So we will additionally to the coordinate system also here make a change. And in this case here, again, we have then to look in the vertical adjustment. What do we do? So again, let's take a look here in the, in the text editor. And we see here, when we go here, this is now at um, column 38 and 38 here means then we have here um, constant adjustment and therefore we are shifting the whole project by minus 45 units. So we only took now a closer look to these two. Uh, in general, these are the values that we additionally also address. So we are also addressing here the projection, the local ellipsoid, the datum, and so when we go back, these are then the additional entries that we are also influencing here with these, with this DC file. The first line is only mentioning what version of DC file um, we are using. So this is now version 10.7. So there's a spec for it defining how the 10.7 has to be written from our codes. And that's it about. As mentioned, this is an introduction video. 
So we will not go through all these entries here. And this is really something where expertise is needed. For us only important is uh, that the coordinate system can be changed and therefore the thumb rule is really the easiest. Just open TBC, create a new project, define your units if you don't want um, in this case here with feet and meter to be aware. And then when we open TBC, I want to show you what happens so we can go here to the project settings and in the project settings we have here our uh, entries for coordinates and when we take a look here in the coordinate system at the moment this is now all set up with default values and when we now drag and drop our dc file then depending on these entries as we have seen these will be overwritten and that's what we will now do so let's here go out and let's now here drag and drop this DC file that we have just taken a look at. And when we drag and drop it, then <clears throat> we can go back to the project settings. And in the project settings, when we go to coordinate system, we can now see this is now the UTM 30 feet north based on the ITRF um, that is defined in our line starting with the code C8. Yeah, so this is now here, this value that we used. And then we can go to the next entry. And then we have here our datum transformation. And then we go back here to our entry. Then we have here our datum transformation values that are here entered. And then we go back here. And we can see them here, they are defined. Then the geoid model, we did not change. We only made a shift. So in our case, only um, our, let me see the site calibration, we will come here. Let's jump to it. So in our site calibration, we made now our vertical shift with these minus 45 meters. And this is exactly what is our entry 81 where we have here made our vertical adjustment. Also, when we go to the projection, we have now here this scale factor here that we have entered and also our positive coordinate direction and our false easting. So when we go here into our entry, then we will see here with line 64, which is 64, this is our projection. And for the projection, we have here the 500,000 um, um, shift in this case, and the scale factor with here 0 0.9996. And this is exactly what we have now here entered. So false easting, 500,000 scale factor 0 0.9996. And as we mentioned also, we also have a datum transformation. So here, these two values, and they are coming now from our entry 65, which is, no, sorry, 49. So 49 here, there it is. So this is our datum shift value that we are now using here for uh, this part. So in case you are not a DC expert, the thumb rule is very simple. You just drag and drop your DC file into a terminal business center. You go to your project settings. You look in the coordinate system entries, which values have changed. In case you want to dig a little bit deeper, you open a file, a file editor, look into the DC file as this is ASCII, and then you can see here these entries which were influenced by these parts. Important is, but this is then for any TBC project that you have, when you work with this, you always have to be careful when you bring in your data, how do they relate to each other? So for photogrammetry, where this video I will add also as a content, we have now our DC file that we drag and drop into TBC 
and it defines our coordinate system in TBC. So it defines if which is our projection, do we have a geoid or do we don't have a geoid, and do we apply additionally also a side calibration, which has an influence on the vertical or horizontal part, scaling and stuff like that. And this is the system that is our target system, we always say. And when you bring in your drone data, then typically your drones, they have their position stored in a geographic coordinate system with ellipsoidic heights. And so what we do when we drag and drop, we look into the axis header and then we convert the data into this system. So you have to be aware, of course, then that these are ellipsoidic heights in the axis. And then if you have your ground control points and you use the standard TBC import, of course, they need to be in the same system as the DC file. So therefore, please be careful then that they have the same side calibration adjusted or already applied to it, that they are working on the same geoid so that we don't get height shifts between the control points and then the drone data, which will then be imported and converted into this system. Okay, so I hope, I hope this helped you to and methodize the DC files. So in the end, they are here just overwriting the coordinate system parameters. Uh, you can then definitely also easily just drag and drop them and define there for your system in TBC. And um, therefore also then set up your project for your drone project. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day. Goodbye.